what is wrong good morning and happy thursday welcome to another vlog today is thursday thursday it is august 18th oh my gosh august 18th y'all notice anything different about me your girl did her hair, baby. Her hair is laid, okay? Actually, clippings. <laughs> Actually, clippings. These clippings are from Amazing Beauty Hair. I had them on my channel before because I've had them for like a year now. Um, and they were longer. They were much longer than this. But I decided that I wanted to do like a lob, like a long bob. So I ended up putting them in and they already came like this by balayage 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 highlights and they look so freaking cute it's definitely giving me ball i'm obsessed with it so yeah i will have the details in the link below i guess i'll have the details in the description box below but yeah i've worked with them plenty of times in the past so y'all can use my discount codes to buy your hair from them because i absolutely love it super soft and full yes today's thursday and i am logging into work right now i'm so happy today's thursday end of a work week super excited about that so i am getting set up here let me log in sorry so i have a lot going on this week um after work today i actually have to go to the kids school for curriculum night and this is my first time meeting the teachers or this will be my first time meeting the teacher last time i had an open house i wasn't able to attend so yeah i'm gonna do that this week though tonight i have my mama shirt on that is also linked in the description box in my amazon store so i get a lot of questions about it but literally got off of amazon they have every color i have the long sleeve one and i also have the short sleeve one that you guys see me in all the time and i'm just eating my breakfast i have a blueberry um bagel with cream cheese and there was only one chicken sausage left so i took that and then i have my coffee and i'm sitting in my dining room y'all are so funny on my um youtube channel you guys were commenting saying you guys also sit in your dining room and switch it around when you work from home you literally have to switch it around but my office is like a mess right now and it's really dark like i explained before so this is my view absolutely love it can't wait till the leaves start to fall i'm really gonna love the foliage scene um from my dining room working so yeah hopefully you guys had a great week and i'm just about to get started with work eat my breakfast and i'll come back on camera later once i'm on break or something all right i'm on break it is 1 54 right now i'm on break and i just made myself a pizza i posted this on my instagram story and you guys liked it it's the Pizza's made with the non bread. This one's from Publix. It's the non nan bread. I can't, I don't know which way to pronounce it. Um, Stone Fire flatbread pizzas. I mean, flatbreads. <laughs> you can use it with anything, but I chose to use it for a pizza. I also had the kids make their own yesterday. Just a little quick um, hack for moms, especially if you're working. You don't want to cook after you get out of work. You can just literally have. Your kids, obviously, if they're old enough, um, use the oven or even air, like the, not air fryer, but the oven, toaster oven, whatever. Have them make their own pizzas. I mean, if they can make a sandwich, they can make a pizza. Literally spreading the sauce, cheese, pepperoni, that's it. Pop it in the oven, toaster oven, done. So, I'm doing that for myself. And, oh, yeah, work is going good, it's going fast. And I'm so excited because this is the last week I'm actually on camera. If you guys didn't know this whole time I had to be on camera like all day, which is draining for me, especially I'm a little bit of an introvert, can't be on camera all day, <sighs> draining my social battery. <laughs> but today is the last, well, not today, but this is the last week, so excited. Okay, this is how my pizza came out. Pretty plain, cheese and pepperoni. I'm watching McKenna's vlogs. Hey girl. But um, this is how my pizza came out. And yeah, that's my lunch. It is 6.14 to be exact. I am off of work and I am on my way to the curriculum night for our daughter's school. 
I'm it's just me by myself I'm just gonna go real quick because my husband is at home with the kids so I figured I go while he watches the kids so I'm just about to go real quick well not real quick because I don't out honestly know how long it will be but it started at 6 so I'm just going to <laughs> go into the school um, oh my gosh, I hate when people like walk so, I hate when people walk right alongside the curb, like I feel like I'm like gonna hit you cause like I got cars on the opposite side and you're like so close to the curb. But anyways, I am going, hopefully it doesn't take too long, but I have to like meet every teacher and gather all the information. I don't know if I said this in my last vlog, but I ended up taking the time to adding all the school events on my calendar. So all of their vacation, all of their like digital days, because out here in Georgia, we still have digital days where the kids stay home once a month and do school from online. They have important meets. Um, our girls are both in orchestra. So we need concert dates added as well. So it's a lot. This is my busy season. I don't know about everyone else, but this is like my busy season when like school starts. And, you know, I have to implement all of the kids like schedules into my schedule. Which is another reason why I'm excited, you know, like going down to three days a week. I'm excited for it because like I honestly have just so much going on right now as far as like getting a household together and just things upcoming that I want to do I just I just I just know I want to have like I, I know I just have a lot a couple of content creating things that I want to do so taking a step back and doing three days a week is gonna be better for me honestly what is on my camera okay i don't think i'll film in here definitely probably not going to do that so i will chat with you guys once i get done hey guys it is the next day it is friday um august 19th i just need to, i'm so tense like i'm so tense like I'm so tense. Okay, so I'm on my way to get a pedicure, y'all. I'm about to run there because they close at 8. It is currently 6.30 right now, and I want to make it there in time. Hopefully, they're not packed so that I can get a seat. I only want a pedicure, a gel pedicure, so hopefully they can see me. I need a pedicure because I've had a stressful day. <laughs> I've had a stressful day. I'm tired. I am a little tense and I want to relax and I want to get a pedicure to relax me. So um, that's what I'm going to go do. <sighs> so yeah, I'm on my way to get a pedicure and after that, I need to go to Walmart. I still need to return these lights. And I need a couple of things for the house as far as like toilet paper or whatever. You guys, so, okay, a couple of things real quick. So, I went to curriculum night. It was so good. Like, I love the fact that I can still be in my kids' like school activities because you guys know like, it can be overwhelming and hard sometimes as parents to make all the events and make all the school, um, you know, what's happening. But I'm very much involved in the kids' school life and I make it known that the teachers know me and know who I am. So I'm happy about that. So yeah, curriculum night was good. Got a lot of info and I'm excited for this school year and what it will bring. Also, as it gets towards the fall time, I am switching up my music for YouTube. I'm trying to find like the perfect sound, but I am going with that, you know, more so lofty, like or lofty, lofi type vibe. So I hope you guys enjoy the music because I know I change my music up a lot and sometimes I use the same music. <laughs> but 
this time I wanted to switch to like the more like chill vibes because that's what type of like season I'm going into like that slow chill season that's what we're going into for you know this year so or coming up that's the that's the season I'm going into like that slow vibey season so hopefully you guys enjoy the music that comes along with it but yeah y'all I just had like a stressful day like oh my gosh I just had like a stressful day kind of and you know when it's Friday and you just ready to go you just ready to clock out you just ready to get the heck on and that's what I was feeling like I'm ready to go I don't care like my anxiety towards the last few hours is on 10 like I don't want to do anything I don't want to say anything just let me out <laughs> and I need to go get a pedicure so I'm just gonna go get a pedicure but you know what though it's it's so weird because like I'm not showing my toes that much like for this season coming up the weather has been really crappy with the rain and I just don't show my toes but I feel like I should still have them done because they look crazy so yeah I'm about to go get a pedicure so I will get off this <laughs> camera while I'm driving and I will see you guys there okay I made it here hopefully they take me because it's kind of late but I should be fine like they should be able to take me Okay. <sighs> uh oh, I forgot I have my AirPods in. Dang. To be honest with you, I'm happy that I got my toes done. They don't look, you know, crazy anymore. But I really did not go for the <laughs> pedicure. Like, I just went for the relaxation, for the quietness, for the peacefulness. You know, like, I deserve that. Working a long week, like, I just went for that. So although like, you know, I'm happy that I got my toes done. I was like, girl, thank you. <laughs> I was not studying my toes hard. Like again, yeah, they came out good, but I wasn't like pressed. You know what I'm saying? Like I went for the relaxation and that's what I got. I got me a nice little massage chair. Like that's what I wanted. So I am on my way to Walmart and where else I said I had to go? I don't think I'm gonna do Target because I, I I'll do Target tomorrow. I'm on my way to Walmart and that's it. It's like 7:47 right now. It's late, but I mean I you know I get off work at six, so you know. But yeah, we're gonna go to Target real quick. <laughs> Target. We're gonna go to Walmart real quick. I need to return these lights. Hopefully they let me. Let me put this one in the bag box. I don't know if customer service is open right now. I don't know what time it closed or you know I don't know Walmart's kind of weird but it's right up the street Hold on. these are getting tangled okay so I got them in the box got my receipt and I'm about to exchange them or not exchange them return them and then I got to pick up some things like I said toilet paper and all that so let's go to Walmart real quick and then all I have is a salad today I don't know what else to eat. All I have is a salad. But it's like almost 8 o'clock, so it's kind of too late to eat, right? Hmm. I don't know. We'll figure it out. I will see you guys at Walmart. Okay, guys. I'm, oops. I'm at Walmart, right? Been here for some time, but let me show y'all the fall stuff that they have in here. Look at all this stuff. 
three dollars okay thankful grateful last look at their fall kitchen towels this family harvest this family harvest love and then look at this thing i think love fall i think i love fall most of all they have like this dollar section this is like the Halloween side over there, like the Sugar Skull side. But they have so much fall stuff. Like, look at these little things for five bucks. Okay, they're coming for Target's neck. I would just like to say they're coming from Target's neck. Look at all their things. Like five dollars. Um, the little books. Pumpkin spice season. I mean look at this leaves are falling autumn is calling so cute really cute stuff to like um decorate your house with literally this these are rubber you can bend this is rubber fall breeze and pumpkin please then they have one that says sweater weather these are only three dollars they have so much candles these are five dollars. Smells so good. Mmm. They have this one, Hello Fall. Smells so good. Um, they have these right here, which I think are super cute. They're only three dollars. And they have like the pumpkin spice one, which I'm gonna get. They have this one that's spice apple cinnamon. Mmm. Um, they have this green one that's rosewood vanilla super cute it looks super aesthetic too and then this one right here oh my gosh it's so cute chamomile cedar wood mm, so good i love how sleek they look um super sleek super cute i ended up getting a whole bunch of things guys like i i mean i came here for like my cleaning supplies but i got some outfits and stuff that i'm going to share with you guys when i get back home their stuff is empty right now but you can tell by the sign that they're bringing more stuff in here and they even have these free look at these y'all nightmare before christmas glass straws super cute like what and then they have like a bunch of like activities that you can do um they have like dog stuff for your doggies let me show y'all obviously they're still putting stuff out but they have like all these little cheap stuff, bandanas over there for like $3, $5. They have small decor items over here. So like this vase for only $5. And then they have this branch for three. I thought that was so cute. Like you can put this in here, something like that. That is cute. And then other vases for $3, the so cotton florals, $5 super cute super super cute they're adding more stuff over here um they have these halloween scrunchies i don't know the price on these but they have like these halloween scrunchies right here as well bomber is not playing they're starting to get like a lot of stuff in and i'm just like super like excited because I never knew that Walmart had like a dollar section. I knew Target did, but I did not know Walmart had like a dollar section. So much good stuff, like so much. But yeah, I'm done. I'm about to do a haul when I get home. So I will show you guys everything that I got. All right guys, I'm back home. It's late, it's like 10.30 almost. And I wanna show you guys what I got from Walmart really quickly. I got myself some deodorant. I tried to do like the aluminum free raw sugar one but I did not like that one. I just felt like it wasn't doing nothing for me. So I went back to my Dove. This one is the coconut and pink jasmine. I always get like the spray on one so I got that. Some more toilet paper and paper towels so I'm gonna put those up in our laundry room. So I don't know if I shared this with you guys but I got some Ghirardelli squares, the chocolate ones, and they are fall assortment. So I got the caramel apple, 
caramel, which is my favorite one in the middle, the gold one, and then sea salt caramel dark chocolate. Stainless steel wipes, need those all the time. Regular baby wipes, we use these all the time, so baby wipes. Normally I get this at Target, but like I said, I didn't feel like going to Target today, so I just got my Mrs. Myers um, lemon verbena, verbena scent spray. Um, from Walmart, they never have the fall ones. Like Target always has like the fall smelling ones, but whatever, I just went with this. Just some regular Great Value bleach spray. I always need like a separate bleach spray, so I got that. I got these trash bags. There's only 10 of them. They are leaf bags, lawn and leaf bags, because tomorrow I will show you guys, I cleaned out my closet. I am getting rid of all my like well, I clean up my upstairs closet. I have to clean my downstairs closet and get rid of like all the clothes that I'm not gonna be wearing or I haven't worn in a while. It's that time where of the year where I declutter. So it's that time of the year, decluttering my clothes and I had to get these big trash bags because I have a lot of stuff to take to Goodwill because we are going to Goodwill tomorrow. So I need those trash bags. And I like my little nails. These are like my favorite ones. Um, they kind of match my toes, but I don't have black on the top. I should have put black. I got these. And then these are the candles that I was telling you guys about for Walmart. So the cute colors, very aesthetically pleasing. It's from the brand Willow and Wood Candle Co. So I have chamomile and cedarwood. Spice cinnamon apple and then spice pumpkin. So single wick, cute candles. And the last things I got were some outfits for Macy that I'm gonna run through really quickly. So Granimals has like the cutest things now. I'm not a huge well, I wasn't never a huge fan of Granimals from Walmart. I used to just go to like Cat and Jack because I felt like, felt like Granimals from Walmart was like too printy, which is weird now because Cat and Jack has a lot of print on them too. But I just thought Walmart's always look a little cheesier than Cat and Jack. But recently they have came with like the cutest stuff. So I got these pants. They're like waffle material. They have the pockets. Super cute. I love when they have pockets. Jaw string. These were only $5.98. Literally super cute. They come in like this teal green color like sage eucalyptus color i don't know i'm obsessed with this color this year like this year eucalyptus green leaf is starting to become like a huge fall color so i got macy this shirt and then i'm sorry i got macy these pants and then to match the shirt i got this shirt to match it says girl you got this and it was 4.98 Super cute, it's like this rusted brown color and then still has that same eucalyptus theme right here color. And it has like a little ruffle at the end. Super cute outfit for school. Again, with the mint eucalyptus color, I got this sweatshirt. It says, share your smile every day. Super like cute, like very simple. The letters are not glitter. They're actually just like these matte vinyl or whatever letters are really matte. Um, again, this was $5.98, super simple. And then I got these jeans. Look at the color. Like, I don't know if y'all can tell, but the color jeans is like blue, but they're, I don't know, I can't explain it. They're like a cute blue back pockets. It's like, I don't know, I can't explain the blue type of color, but skinny at the bottom, super cute. These were also $5.98, six bucks, $5. Super cute outfit that she can wear together with the sweatshirt, keeping the theme of this eucalyptus color. Okay, and this is her last outfit again. <laughs> I know it's a lot of sweatshirts, but look at this. First of all, this pink, I don't know if y'all can tell is not like it's like a dark kind of pink y'all see that and it says girls can do anything this was four no 598 sorry 
love how muted their colors are this year. And then I got these to match. Again, fall themed pockets are so cute. It's like this mustard cognac color, actually not mustard, it's like this cognac brown color. So freaking cute with the fall theme. I absolutely love this. This was only $5.98 as well. Such a cute outfit. Like all of these outfits I found at Walmart are so cute. So yeah, I got those three just to start her fall collection because George's weather will change up on you in a minute and then all of a sudden it's gonna be cold and we can't have that, so got that. That's it, that's my little haul for Walmart. I'm about to go to bed and I will see y'all in the morning. Good morning, good morning. It is Saturday, August 20th, I believe. I don't know, I think it's August 20th. It is 10.30, around 10.30 in the morning and I'm dressed and ready. My husband and I are about to go get some brunch. Can't wait, I'm hungry. My nails, y'all, cute. Black is in season, so I cannot wait. I had to get the black nails, but we have a busy day today. I'm gonna go to brunch real quick, and then I'm gonna come back home. I don't know if y'all can see behind me, but I've been working on my closet. So much stuff on the floor, y'all. I have to, um, oh my, I, I have to, put some stuff in a bag so that I can go to Goodwill. So that's what I'm about to do after I get my brunch on. Like OOTD, I know I have a bunch of junk in the back of my office, but don't remind, don't mind that. Um, here is my outfit. I just have my Self Care Club shirt from H&M. I have on these black biker shorts because although the weather cooled down, it's still kind of muggy. And then I have my Beja sneakers. I love them so much, super cute. My Marc Jacobs bag and, and then I have my necklace from Amazon. And yeah, that's pretty much the outfit. Super simple and cute. But yeah, let me get in the car because like I said, we have some errands to run today and I need to hurry up and start off with brunch first. See y'all. Okay, this is our food really quickly. I got the chicken and waffles with the half and half. Um, red velvet and milk and honey. Some green cheese. Oh, this is hash browns. Hash browns, jams, waffles. Waffles, half and half, red velvet and regular. Yams, eggs, and a hungry husband. <laughs> It was a very good brunch.
went through a lot of my closet as y'all can tell like there's gaps it's pretty empty that's because I literally went in my closet and just tore down everything everything that I don't wear or I no longer want to wear coming up I'm switching my style and I thought for the fall and winter time what is the better time to change your style because summertime I feel like you can't really have a style in the summer I mean I guess you can but to me I'm never comfortable enough to like wear a decent wardrobe in the summer because I'm just gonna sweat right through everything so it's like pointless to me so that's why I thrive in the fall because I love fall fashion everyone loves fall fashion like everyone loves fall fashion okay so I pretty much have let me show you guys I know you guys can't see over there but let me come and grab the camera all right so these are like my colorful items my colorful shoes I do have some black and nude in there but this is basically I have to return that but this is like my colorful summer shoes this right here okay I'm closer so y'all can see this right here is my new wardrobe slash fall try on haul that I'm gonna do soon so there's like stuff behind all this that I need to try on and show you guys so that is that up here is like my grays and um, blacks and then here is like the creams to my what color is this? I would say sage, I guess. So cream, brown to sage, and then my whites. And then I have like my colorful like wardrobe, which is not much. It's only one piece. I don't rock a lot of color, but most of my colors are muted and go with everything. So yeah, that is just, oh my gosh, this coat, you guys. I cannot wait to do this try on haul for you guys. But yeah. This is basically my wardrobe and then I don't think I switched anything over here. I think I took away one of my flowers. Oh, my air is on, sorry. My air is on, sorry, but I didn't really do anything to this. This shelf is always going to stay the same. These are my most prized or like items, so this is always going to stay like this. Um, these are like more of my... Every, not everyday bags but I don't know these are like more some of my favorite bags or whatever and then down here is where I keep like my jewelry and accessories my Gucci socks <laughs> my sunglasses my fragrances from Dossier and Fendi and then this right here this right here was a gift this was actually a gift I don't know if you guys have seen this well. I don't know if I ever showed you guys but this is actually like a gift from um one of my essays so like she sent me this i don't know it's like a postcard she sent it in the mail and it says thank you for your contributions wait it says thank you for your continued business congratulations to you and your husband on marriage you look gorgeous Brittany xo katie saint laurent she works in saint laurent and the phipps plaza downtown um i was like i want to say downtown london girl downtown atlanta and she sent this magazine which i thought was so cute it says saint laurent on it i don't know if i ever showed this to you guys but it's basically a magazine full of all these pictures i just thought it was so cute like i really appreciate stuff like this i have my tom ford book designer books are like so they're not just for decor like if you ever pay attention to like the photography and the coloring inside the book the color grade it's just so good so yeah i got me a book and that sits right here um on the bottom shelf and then my bag and my thank you notes sit right here just because i think that's like so cute fix this so yeah and then I have oh gosh stepped on heels and then I have like Tom Ford like I usually keep this shelf filled with like the browns and neutrals and blacks and then I have my uh fall hats these both came from Target this one I got from Target I love this is like my favorite one super cute super super cute like I can't even put it down super cute it's so big I love big brimmed hats like <laughs> I want to be like knocking in the door <laughs> when I come through that's how I know my hat is big enough 
but yeah if you guys watch i design eight she's like the queen of these hats and she inspires me so much love you girl but i don't know if she's watching my video but you never know so yeah i got this one this one's from target like i said i think this was twenty dollars i'm not sure i think it was like twenty or ten dollars I, I can't remember but well i'm pretty sure it wasn't that cheap i think it was like twenty i don't know we'll see and then it has like this elastic thing that i just hang my hats on so i have these command hooks let me show y'all i'm giving y'all a full tour which i did not mean to do but since we're talking about it i might as well so i got these little command hooks from target and i put them on side of my packs closet so that i can like hang stuff on the outside because i do believe the packs closet comes with hooks but they're like inside and like i don't feel like going to ikea i can't get on my nerves to be honest with you they just got too much stuff going on and i just got some command hooks to make it easier i got this black one also from target it has like this pleather strap around it it's not as big yeah see this one's not as big it's cute though but it's not as big as this one like it's actually kind of tight on my head honey but it's still cute to rock i can even like keep it like that because it's too big like to go on top of my head i'll just rock it like this kind of like put it on the back of my head and pull it forward and rock it like that so cute hats for fall time super cute hats for fall time um i got these both from target like i said and then i switched up this side i had my jimmy choo shoes up there my Veja sneakers, I actually wore them today, so they're not there, but there's the box for that. Chanel's, um, all my Chanel slides and stuff. My Alexander McQueen's, and then I have this Gucci box. I didn't want to throw it away, so I just have it right there. Prada, and then these are all of, like, my hats, which, to be honest with you, I do not wear. Um, I have, like, a whole bunch of bucket hats, but I don't wear them, so... I, I, gotta, I don't know. I'm keeping them because I spent money on them, but literally I don't wear them. And then my Telpar bag with my boxes of Yeezys that are empty because I keep them downstairs because I always wear them. Look, all this stuff has to go, you guys. So I'm going to get rid of My shirt is super big so it doesn't look right but yeah super cute so um this is like part of my fall fashion i'm gonna dress this up real quick cute and show you guys how to accessorize it and what i would wear and my style is all about like timeless pieces and more what is it more modest and timeless and fashionable but comfortable like i'm all about comfort like you guys know as a mom we do too much and i need to be comfortable at all times i can't if my clothes are like going every which way and i it's just uncomfortable so yeah i thought this was really cute really simple really cute and i'm gonna hang this up actually
so I have these two bags behind me. I don't know if y'all can tell, but they're going to Goodwill. And then I found these items from H&M and they have um, tags on them. I don't know H&M's return policy. I literally got this last year. I don't think they're gonna mess with me, but I have like my H&M member card or on um, the app at least. And I know when I purchased it, so they can pull it up. But I don't know if I can like return it or exchange it for something. Like I don't know, store credit maybe. But I was like, oh wait, hold on, let me use this. Um, and I actually have something else like from H&M that I can return too. So maybe they'll let me get my money back or some type of credit for fall stuff. I'm gonna check. I wasn't planning on going to H&M, but I am now. So we're gonna do that um, after we come from the Goodwill and then I think that's it I think that's all in my closet that I'm going to get rid of <laughs> which is like a lot like if y'all see my closet is empty but that's okay because we're gonna fill it up with more timeless items that fit our needs in our style we're growing we're getting older so we need to dress more modest um so I think that's it I'm gonna put these bags in the car and then we're gonna head out. Y'all, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, y'all. I found the cutest thing that, Goodwill. Uh, y'all, okay, so I told you, I'm gonna show y'all real quick. I'm about to head to Target um, just to see if they got like any more fall stuff or, you know, just who, like it's Saturday. Why not go to Target? Like, I have to go to Target. So I'm just gonna check out Target to see what they have. But, um, okay, what are we doing? Y'all about to get into an accident? Like, what is y'all doing? Um, oh my gosh, Target is a freaking madhouse. Oh, anyways, my Goodwill bag is in my trunk. I should have um, put it here with me so that y'all can see it. But I have so much, like the items that I got is so freaking cute and i cannot wait to share with you guys what they are let me just go get my bag hope y'all can see me but i ordered a console table i'm at target parking lot about to go in but i ordered a console table and i don't know if you guys remember me saying it but i've been wanting a console table for a minute and i finally ordered it and i just buy i i also purchased some like decor items to go on top of it I am decorating my house for ha uh, Halloween. It's going to be like more of a modernized decor though. It's not going to be like orange and black everywhere. It's just going to be like a modern type of feel. So I went to Goodwill to drop off my clothes and then I found some items that I could not, could not pass up. And the way I'm going to decorate these, oh, I cannot wait to show y'all. So I found this plate. It's like a little side dish type thing it was literally only a dollar nine so freaking cute like i plan on standing this up um or something it just it's just so vintage like i absolutely am obsessed with this um if this is not gonna go on the console table it's gonna go on our shelving i don't know if you guys watch sharika b's channel but she has these shelves that i am also um getting they're in my cart right now on amazon which are like these shelves type that go on the side of the fireplace. Hers is in her office or beauty room, I believe. Mine's is gonna be in the side of our um, fireplace. So I got those shelves. I think it's like a five tier or six tier shelf. Um, so I got those to go with. So I got those and I want to put this vintage stuff on top. So that's one plate, that was $1.09. I got this one, which was $4.09. Like, look at the legs on this. Oh my gosh, and look at how it looks. Vintage as well, it was only um, $4.09. I don't know if y'all can see that, but it was only $4.09. Like, the legs on this, uh, it just, it's just giving like vintage, like vintage. Like, I don't know if y'all can see the detail because there's a glare. But look at the detail in that. Oh, so cute. I'm obsessed with these. So I got two of them. They do match. So I got two of them. And then, um, I, if you guys follow me on Instagram, I asked you about my artwork. I said, do you, I, if you guys follow me on Instagram, I asked you about the artwork that's in our, um, 
console table area and I said should I get rid of it or should I add to it you guys said keep it so I got a frame this is like a gold frame I don't know if, like if I'm gonna keep this but I am going to I don't I got this gold frame because I'm gonna print out like a vintage photo and then put it in the frame so um, I'm gonna do that and this was only like a dollar nine I feel like this is like an 8x11, I believe. I'm not too sure, but it's kind of probably like an 8x11. I'm going to sit this on top of my console table or sit this on the shelves, whichever one I feel like decorating. Like, I don't know how I'm going to do it. Then I found this, which was also $1.09. This is like a vintage photo. I don't know if y'all can tell, but it's like very vintage-y. I'm so obsessed. Look at this. Oh, so obsessed. So I was going for like a vintage modern feel. And this was perfect. So I got these items all at the Goodwill. Super excited about them. I cannot wait till my console table gets here. It won't get here till like Tuesday. So you guys won't see it in this vlog. But coming up you'll see it in the other vlog. Because I plan on um, decorating it and putting it together next Sunday. So, yeah. But let's go into Target real quick, girl, because we still got to hit up H&M. We still got to go to Big Lots. We still got to go to the Dollar Tree. So let's hurry up. Y'all know I don't like to be in these streets, in these stores for too long. So let's go. All right, so Target does have some fall decor. They have, like, these little cute houses. Um, these pumpkins. I don't know if I showed you guys. Oh, they have these vases. These ceramic. These, $25. Um, these bag of pumpkins, they have these colors. And then the white ones as well. How much are these? Only $3. Um, they have these houses. I'm not really a fan of them, but they do have these houses. More of these kitchen towels. I mean, it's okay. I'm not really feeling Target too much. As far as the core goes. Like, I don't know. It's cute, but it ain't all that. That's for sure. Last year was hitting way better, in my opinion. I do have these florals, like the cranberries. These are only three bucks. With these twigs as well. And I had these little pumpkins for five dollars only. This color as well, five dollars. I think the bigger ones here are like fifteen, if I'm not mistaken. Oh no, ten. Ten dollars. They have this one too. Fifteen. And then this color. I think this is fifteen. Yeah, this is fifteen. And then they have the pompous grass, very like natural woodsy type vibe, if that's what you like. Um, very much harvest colors over here. This is kind of cute. Florals. Only $10. And then this is really cute. I like this because of the color. This is 30 Cute with the vase. And then they have a lot of um, the Studio McGee and Threshold throws, the knit throws. I think these are 25, if I'm not mistaken. Oh no, 30. Okay, these are 30. Um, pillows too, with the harvest colors. I had, I had these pillows. I had some of these last year. But these are super soft. These are like way soft and bigger. But I have some of these on my couch already similar color and then this is like the hearth and hand collection with all of their um fall decor the garland that i saw these two the amber glasses $8.99 this one is $12.99 super cute for $12.99 it's not actually bad i love this candlestick holder super cute it's 20 bucks really cute and then they have their, uh, $9.99 for their potted bases. 
super cute. Are you more here yet? Oh. Um, definitely like a farmhousey harvest decor. Definitely an H and M. I have stuff. Okay, I have so much stuff. I wasn't expecting for H and M to have so much stuff. But let me show you guys what they have. I hope they're copyrighted because there is like actual music playing. But I'm gonna show you guys real quick. They have these oversized bags that you can carry around. They're like. Um, this velvety or suede material super freaking cute 25 bucks I currently have two in my hand because I don't know which color I'm gonna get and then I already have these um, but they have a bunch of mules this season they have their scarves out oh, I love this car they have these white boots um, more of these bags over here they even have like these knitted purses, super cute. Their shoe game is like unmatched right now, like I don't know what's going on with h and but their shoe game is so dope. Um, and look at these shoes, first of all, look at their sneakers, like super cute, super cute, I like these. And then they have these as well. Wait, where are they? They have so many different style sneakers. Like, super cute. And then they have the boots over here with the bags. Super cute. Okay, Fitting Room Chronicles. <laughs> y'all know y'all be in the videos with me, but I'm trying on some mom jeans. They're kind of cute. They don't stick out too much in the back. Actually really comfortable and they don't stick out too much. I really like how they fit. So I might get them. Might get them. I'm gonna try some other ones on, but these are definitely a cute option. So I got my clothes away from HM and I don't know if I told y'all, but I returned some items or exchange them. Y'all, why don't it cost me $28? I must go to um, American Eagle right now. Fun fact, I used to work at American Eagle. Shout out to the millennials who um, wore like American Eagle and Hollow Star. Hi, how are you? Okay, thank you. Shout out to the ones who wore Hollister and American Eagle because I certainly did. Now, honestly, I heard on TikTok that American Eagle jeans were like so bomb, but I don't like all that ripped. Like, I can't have my jeans too ripped. I mean, that was like then, but now I'm like, I don't need, you know, ripped jeans everywhere. But I do want to try on their mom jeans. I think that's what everyone was talking about, the mom jeans. I got TikTok in my mouth, but I don't know what size I am. I see a size six. I feel like I'm not a size six. I feel like I'm a two. Cause I don't know. Um, let me see. They have a size. Ooh, I don't know what that could be. They have a size 2. Let me try them on. Either I'm a 2 or size 4. What's your name, honey? Oh, Brittany. Brittany? How do you spell your Brittany? B R I T T A N Y. Sounds like my daughter's Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, cool. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay, let me try these jeans real quick. I got some jeans from American Eagle. They are the mom jeans, short, which I love because they come right at my ankles. And, and they actually fit me in the back. I don't need to like loosen up or get them taken in. I mean, I could, but I'm not. See, they actually fit me, y'all. 
Oh my gosh. These. Oh my gosh, I love them. Yep, getting them. Sticker came off. Getting them. Hey guys, I'm currently in Big Lots and they have all their fall stuff. They have this Hello Fall sign. It's really big, it's really cute. Um, and all their fall stuff. I can see. Lots of harvesty stuff. Lots of harvest. They have some on this side too as well. Thanksgiving harvest stuff. Cute fall. Yes, please. Fall breeze. Yes, please. That's cute. <laughs> cute harvest stuff. This is cute and fancy. Um, they even have more stuff right here. Beautiful like, floral arrangements. Potted floral. And then they had the Halloween stuff. I actually like their Halloween decor. It's really like, I don't know, my vibe. Love these pillows. Um, they have a lot of like, that's cute, like simple Happy Halloween sign. Like that's really simple and cute. Um, the pumpkins, this one, trick or treats on my feet. That is so cute. Really simple. Like their their um, Halloween decor is really subtle and simple. I actually saw this sign in Dollar Tree, so I'm kind of shocked they have it in here. But yeah, super simple and cute. Love their Halloween decor. I actually like these pumpkins too. These striped pumpkins are only five dollars. I might get one of them because it's only five dollars. And more Halloween decor. And then harvest on this side, which is more so of a, um, I don't know, like a black and white um, harvest. So they have like, welcome y'all. And um, more black and white. They have this pumpkin patch cormace, apple cider, really cute sign right there. And then this home sign is just black and white. So this is like more so the black and white harvest decor matching with the Halloween. Um, super cute. I love the decor. Um, I really do. I'm loving all the decor. This is like my vibe. It's like black and white, hint of orange, not too much. Really cute. Yeah, really cute. I got a candle. It smells amazing. I'm actually exchanging these wreath that I got. I mean, not the wreath, the garland that I got. So I got the candle instead. It smells real good. Blood orange and cranberry. All the Halloween decor right here is so nice. All their skulls. They have like a blue theme this year, like turquoise blue theme type of vibe for Halloween. All right here. Even the pearls and stuff has like a blue theme. Super cute. Finally home. Finally. And I'm gonna show you guys what I have in the stores. Um, I'm gonna wash my hands really quick. So quiet. Oh yeah, my husband brought me beautiful roses. No, they're so pretty. Some beautiful roses, y'all. Y'all follow me on Instagram, y'all already saw that. Okay, so I didn't really get too much new stuff. Um, I got these from Dollar Tree. I got the Harvest ones last week and we made pumpkin spice, not pumpkin spice, but spice cupcakes. Tonight we're making, so this right here will be our treat for the kids tonight. Just like last week, um, we watched the movie and stuff. So if y'all saw that last vlog, we did a little family thing. I be doing it all for my kids, y'all. I be doing it all. <laughs> At least I try, you know. Even with me working, content creating, I try to do it all. But, um, okay, this, I, got, I feel like I have too much stuff in the bag. All right, so from Big Lots, I got this cute kitchen towel. I just thought it looks, it's Halloween, but it's like aesthetic Halloween. I can't explain it. It's so cute. It says boo on both sides. It was literally only $3. I thought that was so cute. So I'm gonna put it right here. 
matches the black and white theme. I got this candle, it was $7, and it's a three wick candle. And it's blood orange and cranberry. It says Cursed Corpse on it. This smells so freaking good. You guys already seen my vintage items from Goodwill. So I'm just taking them off the bag. I'm not gonna really show y'all, but y'all saw these. Um, so that's that. Huge haul from H&M that I'm not gonna show you guys right now because that's gonna be part of my fall try on haul that I'm gonna be filming in a couple weeks. So um, I will show you guys all that once I, you know, get to that video. But for right now, I'm not gonna show you guys because that's not the whole point. So I went to Dollar Tree and I had to get these two things. I'm gonna turn the camera around so y'all could actually see it. So I went to Dollar Tree and I got these two stands. This one was $5. This one was $5 as well. It says trick or treat. This is a 48 inch leaner for $5 y'all. Literally $5 from the Dollar Tree. These are both these both are gonna go outside the house for Halloween. I already like put them out there to see how they look and they look so cute. I cannot wait to actually decorate my house in the front because we're doing a Halloween theme. So yeah. Got these bad boys at Dollar Tree. Super freaking cute. I love them. I ordered some things from Amazon. I told you guys I ordered our console table that's coming soon. So I ordered some decor items to go on top of that. Some stuff is coming tomorrow, so I'll have that for next one. But I ordered these, which I don't know why they gave me. I don't know why they gave me this thing. But I ordered, I don't know why they gave me this, I'm not gonna use it. <laughs> but I ordered these branches and they are 30, I believe. 30, and not 30 branches, but 30 inch branches. And you can literally twist them how you want in a circle. Like you see that, you can like twist it how you want. These are gonna go in a vase, a ceramic vase. I have to find a perfect one, I haven't found it yet. I, I'm gonna go to at home to look for one. And I wanted branches throughout my house for Halloween. And if you follow me on Instagram, do you saw like the inspo picture that I posted? I want to add like crows in these. Sit on top of the console table, so cute, so. Got these branches. I will link them below on Amazon. Um, they were like really affordable, so if you're interested. And then, what is this? Okay, I ordered some black candlesticks, four of them. If you guys remember, I have like my gold um, candle stick holder from, where is it from? It's from Target, so. I have that and I want to put those candles in the candlestick holder. So yeah, the rest of the stuff gets here tomorrow. So you will see that in my next vlog. But you guys pretty much seen everything. Um, that's all I got, honestly, besides the stuff from H&M. That's honestly all I got. So yeah, that was my little haul. Alright guys, <laughs> I'm in the bed, y'all. Mm. I am so tired. So tired. We made the cupcakes. They came out good. <laughs> I know you guys are probably like, this girl is crazy. Like, it's not even September or October yet. And she's doing Halloween. Y'all, listen. All I have to say is get used to the shenanigans because I'm going to be doing all fall and Halloween stuff early because I feel like it's only, it, like, the holiday goes by so fast. So I want to celebrate every little part of it. Like I said, last year I didn't get to do much celebrating. I don't know why. Like, I just didn't do the festivities as much as I wanted to. And I didn't even enjoy decorating. I feel like I was just more stressing. I don't know. We were planning a wedding, too, last year. So, last year was different. But this year, I'm doing everything early. So, <laughs> if the store has got it out. I'm going to do it. Like, I'm going to participate in the shenanigans. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I just feel like these two days go by so fast. Like, 
uh, I cannot wait for my schedule to change, y'all, because I feel like these two days go by so fast. Like, having Saturday and Sunday off is ghetto. I need more than that. <laughs> Period. But I am getting more than that, thank God. I'm, like, my schedule's going to change dramatically. Dram, my schedule's gonna change drastically, so I cannot wait. So I have one more week, thug it out, and then we're back to full content creating with a lot more, you know, festive stuff, try on hauls. I have so much stuff coming up for Britober. I'm so excited. Make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel and have your bell notifications clicked on and popping, so you'll be alerted whenever I post a new video. And yeah, stay tuned for the next vlog. Enjoy your week ahead, and I will see y'all later. Bye.